Hey, I'm Paul Levinson. And I'm Sarah Seltzer. We're both contributors to the Friday Night Lights Companion, a great anthology about Friday Night Lights, but Sarah and I also have another connection. She's my daughter-in-law. And we honestly had no idea until the very end of this process when we were looking through our emails and noticed that uh, we were both listed as contributors. Sarah saw that, I didn't because I never read my emails carefully, but we both thought it was especially cool that we're family and we're both in a book about Friday Night Lights, which is really all about family. So with that, let me turn this over to Sarah, who will tell you a little bit about her essay. Um, my essay is about the feminist politics of the show as seen through the figure of Tammy Taylor, who has spent so much of her time counseling the young women of Dylan, just the way her husband counsels all the young men. Um, and with that in mind, my favorite episode of the entire series is in season four, episode 10, the episode called I Can't, which is already sort of a notorious episode in TV history because it's one of the few episodes on television that has ever shown a character having choosing to have an abortion and actually having the abortion. And it, it's a wonderful episode, not just because it breaks this television taboo, but because it does it so honestly and you know, with so much compassion and empathy for all the characters, particularly Becky, the 15-year-old high school sophomore who's faced with this unenviable uh, choice that she has after becoming pregnant her first time having sex. And um, it's a really moving episode. And with this one decision to show abortion as an option, the show also validates and grounds all the other pregnancies that happen in the five seasons in reality, because this is a choice that many women actually go through. So for every woman who chooses to keep her pregnancy, now that seems like a, a real choice because of Becky's choice, which was, was shown with so much compassion. And another thing about the episode is just that moment of Becky sitting across the table from Tammy and her eyes filling up with tears and saying, I'm a sophomore, I'm 15, I'm a high school sophomore, and I just I can't take care of a baby. And you see the way Tammy's eyes change and this co and, and the way she, she realizes really that there's not much she can do when faced with this young person in so much pain and in so much distress. And the only thing she can really do is offer a little bit of comfort and a little bit of wisdom, but ultimately this, this girl is on her own with her decision, and that happens so many times throughout the series with both Coach and Tammy as they sit and counsel these young people you know, who, who are often in distress. They're often coming to their doorway late at night. So it's a really wonderful moment that just sums up so much about the show as well as being a groundbreaking moment in TV history. Now over to you, Paul. Well, my favorite moment, my favorite episode, actually comes down to just one line. That's all it takes for me to really love something. One fantastic line. And it's in season two. Uh, we find Matt, who is skipping classes, walking along, and uh, he runs into Tim Riggins uh, in his pickup. Tim Riggins is out of class also. And Tim asks Matt, well, you know, what are you doing out of class? Matt answers. And then Matt asks Tim, why aren't you in class? And Tim gives that classic Tim Riggins smile and says, I always skip Wednesdays. And I just admire that line so much because I hate to say it, even though I'm a professor at Fordham University, and I've been a professor for many years, I still have the heart and soul of a student. And I know when I was a student, I wish I could have had that kind of attitude that, hey, you know why I'm not going to class? Because I always skip Wednesdays. You know, I don't need a reason. It's just life. And that, to me, is what epitomized the best of Friday Night Lights, that one line in season two, the realism with which Friday Night Lights showed its characters. No hype, no special effects, no magic, except the magic of real people living in real life situations. That's what made it such an extraordinary show. And. Getting back to uh, Sarah and me, I think again, what makes uh, Friday Night Lights such a, a wonderful show is not only the realism, but the family life. So it's especially nice to be here with Sarah, part of my family, talking to you about our essays.